prepare for a weekend of festivities. We're going to be celebrating my dad's 80th birthday, so I wanted to include the little snippets here and there. We're going to have a lot of Slavic food, a lot of great family time, all of that. And I'm going to be making some panna cottas, which I've never made before. I got these cute little stemless little glass situations from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I found a recipe for a chocolate strawberry cranberry version. Like the coolie is going to be strawberry cranberry combined. We will see. But I got to get started on them today to make the base because we got to let it set overnight. What a crazy morning. I'm in the car now, I got everything. Thank goodness for Notes app because I write down everything that I need so I don't forget. I did forget to show you guys the panna cottas. I actually had one all done and everything, but I filmed a TikTok but forgot to do it on here. The white chocolate coolie or the white chocolate base is super sweet, but if you do like a super tart coolie like I did the cranberry with a little bit of strawberry, it's such a nice balance. The only thing I would change is the ratio. I feel like I needed less white chocolate and then more of the coolie on top because I did like a whole chunk of the panna cotta base and then a little bit of the coolie on top. So I feel like I would just even it out and make it an even ratio just because the white chocolate is so sweet and rich and you don't really want to eat a lot of it. But yeah, I am headed to my sister's house. My kids are waiting over there. And let's get this party started. I'm making some tea for myself. I'm using my iPhone because trying to use the Sony right now. Forget it. My sister went to go do the cake at my brother's house because that's where we're having it. My mom and her sister went to go run some errands because we need some things. But we did a lot of chopping for the salads and stuff and we're going to mix them all tomorrow early morning. We're all going to go there. We're going to decorate all there. That's going to be the fun part. My kids, we just had them and her kids can hear the music. They're having a Christmas movie night. They're watching Christmas Chronicles. But I want to show you guys some a lot of treats and foods. This is one of the salads we're gonna be doing. It's called haroshek. And it's basically peas, like a bologna or something, beets, cucumber, frozen peas, fresh peas, eggs, carrots, obviously. And then you mix it all with mayo, salt and pepper. And then this is for another salad. It's called shuba, which is like a beet, fish, herring fish. I'll show you guys when it's done tomorrow. This is another really good goodie. These are like little sweet treats with dulce de leche filling with like wafers, so good. And then my mom just made some borscht. This is a classic soup recipe and some, it's like tushona kartoshka with tushonka. It's like a potato bake of sorts. So just like a bunch of Slavic foods happening here. I'm in my sister's bathroom, I'm gonna take off my makeup for the day. She stole my sweater. She didn't steal it. She's like, oh, that's so cute. Can I wear it? So. I just put on one of her sweatshirts because actually this was mine. I left it at her house because it had a stain and I'm like, oh, whenever I come over your house, I'll just put this on. So we switched, swapped, but I told her I'm going to like go through her makeup, her skincare. I mentioned these in a previous vlog, but I got the like, candlelight church service candles. I originally ordered some like beeswax candles, but they were so skinny that putting 80 of them together would have been like yay wide so i got these instead so i'm gonna put together 80 of them they come in a pack of 100 so if you want to use them for church service there you go this is what they look like i got the i think these are the four inch or the five inch i can't remember i'm gonna do the black ribbon tomorrow i just did a rubber band instead but this is 80 candles and this is gonna go on a little cake stand i'm gonna tie a black ribbon around i think it's gonna be super cute but i'm gonna clock out for today and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning because we have a bright and early morning for party day. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's been quite a crazy morning. We're all ready to head out. I think I'm gonna stop by and get a coffee and then we're gonna go decorate. We've been chopping salads. We've been just getting stuff ready. I'm just trying to find a Starbucks on the way. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can I have a tall Starbucks blonde roast, the Christmas one? It's, I think it's your Christmas blonde roast? Yes, we do have a Christmas blonde roast. Do you want it in a size? 
Uh, let's do tall. And can I have half and half in that and a pump of uh, cinnamon dulce syrup? Absolutely. Just one pump of the cinnamon dulce syrup yep. and then cream. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's all. All right, 376. Thank you. so beautifully it was like simple but kind of exactly what i envisioned my sister-in-law did the centerpieces a lot of it was her like the table runner she picked up she did a lot of that um but i think it came together so cute i loved how it came out and then my cousin did the garland loved that as well and we have a lot of food left over and sweets which is like my favorite part of any slavic event is the food and the sweets we used this one lady for catering she was doing a wedding and we asked her if she could also you know, take us on. And she's like, yeah, whatever I'm gonna have on the menu for the wedding, I'll just make extra for you guys, which is kind of what happened. So we had some chicken, some rice, potatoes. The potatoes were so good. They were like in heavy cream, um, some uh, beef. And then we did all of the salads on the sides and then the sweets and stuff. My sister did the cake. How stinking cute is that? She is so good at the cakes and she made like a little fondant tuxedo. So on theme, I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So yeah, we have a lot of like leftover stuff. So we're gonna have a family lunch today and my husband's gonna join in on that. He couldn't make it yesterday because he had to work the weekend. Couldn't get off from work, he started a new job. So well, it's not like a new, he didn't just start it, but he's still kind of new. I don't think it's even been a year yet. So he doesn't have much seniority and nobody really wants to switch for weekends, so. It's okay, but he's gonna join us today. And we're gonna continue the festivities, the 80 candles, you guys. That idea, in theory, was such a great idea. I loved it when I saw it on Pinterest, but let me tell you, when 80 candles are burning, oh my gosh, I actually started to panic a little bit inside because it was just like, once they lit up, you just, it was like a lot. And I'm like waiting for everybody to finish singing happy birthday so we can blow it out. And then my dad couldn't blow it out. The kids tried helping a little bit. I tried and then my brother just swooped in and <laughs> knocked it right out. He's like, Phew, gone. So all in all, we had a really great time. My dad had a lot of his um, friends that he kind of grew up with in Belarus. And yeah, it was just really nice. I had a great time sitting next to my cousin Angelica and her fiance and then my other cousin Diana. I love them so much. They're one of my favorite people on the planet. Basically all we did was like laugh the night away. I think mentally we are all ready for a little bit of a, at least me, it's kind of like tone it down a little bit because <laughs> it was just a lot. But yeah, so I'm getting ready for church right now. My sister already left. She's gonna become a member today of the church she's been going to. So she had to go early with her kids and I'm gonna be heading out very, very soon. So I just kind of want to do a little catch up video. I don't know if I'll vlog past this. I guess we'll see.